It's a day that ends in Y, so Austin Hill threw a temper tantrum. Welcome back to Break Hard. My name is Matt. Yes, the 30-year-old gigantic man baby that is Austin Hill once again threw a temper tantrum. I know I'm as shocked as you are at this point. This time it happened on Saturday during the Xfinity race at Charlotte when he intentionally wrecked Cole Custer down the backstretch after the two of them made contact on the front stretch. After the race, Austin Hill would get out of his car and say that Cole Custer lost his mind down the front stretch. His words, not mine. Which is funny because when you look at the video, if anything, Austin Hill moves up into the double zero of Cole Custer. But in Austin's world, the double zero absolutely doored him. That's what his words were. He said explicit language, which I'm not going to say here because, well, you know, YouTube. So he went after Cole Custer after he cuts the right front down, going into the corner. The double zero is in front of the 21. The 21 then carries him down the back stretch. He's behind and behind and behind him. And the whole time he's doing that, Cole Custer's got his thumb out the window like, hey man, good job. Keep doing what you're doing. You don't look like a gigantic baby right now, which in fact he did. So then he wrecks Cole Custer into oncoming traffic, might I add. Super dangerous situation there. Thankfully, Cole didn't get team bowed by anybody else and he was able to drive away from the incident. But at the end of the day, Austin Hill, once again, throws a temper tantrum like he's Kyle Busch in 2011 and Cole Custer was Ron Hornaday. I just don't understand what this guy wants out of it. I mean, I do understand he's the Dudley Dursley of the NASCAR Xfinity Series at this point, and he's not getting enough birthday presents. And by birthday presents, I mean wins because all the other cars on track aren't letting him win. I always flash back to that Atlanta interview he had last year where he's like, I just wanted to lead the race and nobody would help me. I just wanted to lead. Well, call me crazy. I think the other guys on track might also want to lead. They might also want to win the race. But in Austin Hill's world, only Austin Hill can win. He 100% played like NASCAR Thunder as a kid with the difficulty level set as low as it could go. Probably won all 36 races, all 36 poles. And he's like, nobody else could ever win 36 races and 36 poles. I'm that good. Well, yeah, bud, because you're playing on the lowest difficulty level. Now, in the real world, people don't play like that, and they actually do race hard. And before he had his run-in with Cole Custer uh, on Saturday, he was flipping Sammy Smith off down the front stretch. Why was he flipping Sammy Smith off? Because Sammy Smith wanted to race in a race. He was like, well, if you're going to try to pass me, I'm going to race you. And Austin didn't like that, because apparently it's news to Austin that he's in a race with other cars, I think. He seems confused by this. NASCAR did not park him after he intentionally wrecked Cole Custer, which I find to be a bit unusual because, again, he wrecked him under caution. It was premeditated, carrying him all the way down the backstretch and then spun him out into oncoming traffic under caution. Those are all grounds for NASCAR to park him, and they didn't. So Andy Petrie's gigantic baby got to finish the race and then talked to the media afterwards where he, of course, blamed Cole Custer because he's the ultimate narcissist here. And now I think we have to wait until Tuesday because NASCAR set a precedent for suspending guys, right? I mean, Austin Hill is involved in a suspension for a very similar incident. In 2019 at Iowa, Johnny Sauter wrecked him under caution and Johnny Sauter got suspended a race and got a waiver for getting himself suspended. Still absolutely don't agree with that. But Austin Hill now does the same thing essentially and doesn't get parked. I'm going to be interested to see if he gets a penalty. And honestly, I don't think he does get a penalty. I think NASCAR lets this one go, which is baffling to me. And again, it could happen on Tuesday. It just doesn't seem like it's going to up to this point. Of course, Kyle Busch has the famous Ron Hornaday incident from 2011 when he wrecks him at Texas and just absolutely destroys both trucks, just lost his mind in that situation. And Austin Hill continually does these sort of things. He definitely strikes me as a guy that's never been told no in his life. And that's just my opinion. That's what I think. I, he, he strikes me as a guy that has just never been told no and probably needs to be told no a lot more, more often because the way he acts on a racetrack is so childish. He acts more like an 18-year-old in ARCA. He's the Sean Higurani of the NASCAR Xfinity Series. He's the... Uh, Connor Jones of the NASCAR Xfinity Series. It's never his fault. He's always in the right. It's somebody else's fault, except he's 30 years old. You would have thought he would have outgrown that sort of mentality at this point. But I guess some people mature at different levels. But for a guy that was born in 1994, you would think the father of three, I think, would probably, you know, have a bit more sense about him. But I guess when you surround yourself with yes men over there up in Welcome, North Carolina and RCR, 
and Andy Petrie is constantly carrying your helmet for you, telling you you did such a great job. You need new clothes. You need new underwear. You want me to do this? You want me to carry this? You want me to take care of you? And babying him along, he's going to start thinking that he's the best thing out there, except he's not, which, I mean, I, I kind of wish he took that call a cup ride for this year just to see how absolutely miserable he would be. I mean, I don't want to wish misery on anybody but it would have been pretty funny to watch because he would just not have been competitive at all not that he's been competitive in the starts that he's made for rcr but now the talk of rcr potentially getting a third charter and that not going to austin hill is actually hilarious to me but how much longer are they going to let this guy go out there and continually throw temper tantrums like this before nascar steps in and they're like hey man chill out right i mean connor jones has raced what like a dozen truck series race has been called to the hauler twice already in his uh career you gotta at some point bring these guys in and be like you gotta calm down a little bit all right you can't keep acting like this except again like i went back to you would expect a 30 year old man to you know have the comprehension skills to understand that to have the maturity level to be able to control his emotions and unfortunately it doesn't seem like he does because while he said that Cole Custer, quote, lost his mind, in fact, the driver that lost his mind was, in fact, Austin Hill. So, yeah, just once again, throws a gigantic timber tantrum, and I'm wondering if he's going to get suspended for it or not. And I don't necessarily like to see drivers get suspended, but when you do something intentional like this, you probably should be. Okay, yeah, for, he didn't hook a guy in the right rear and turn him head onto the fence, but he still hooked him or picked him up, spun him out into oncoming traffic, which feels bad, feels dangerous. Could just be me. I mean, but if a guy gets hit broadside in the door, things go wrong. I mean, just look at Steve Park back in the day. If you get, and obviously these cars are a lot safer, but getting hit in the door is not the most comforting thing. And if you have a gigantic baby out here, intentionally wrecking people you should probably do something about it at some point so for austin hill he's got size on his side nobody's going to try to walk up and punch him more uh, likely than not like ty gibbs is certainly not going to walk up there and get him cole custer could give him a pretty good fight i mean we saw cole fight north of the border up in canada the royal rumble of the great north with john hunter nemechek but yeah i austin hill just continuing to do Austin Hill things. So let me know in the comments what you think about what he did. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.